Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to Click It Develop Chats. Today, I want to explore with you the two biggest mechanisms to manage and scale microservices. In this case, Amazon ECS and Kubernetes, which I will help you choose wisely the right container orchestration platform for your web application. We help SaaS companies with their DevOps practice and cloud development through a dedicated team and a unique niche or framework. So let's begin. In short, Kubernetes and Amazon ECS are cluster management systems that help microservice applications to be managed, deployed, auto scaled, and networked among containers. Amazon ECS is the Amazon native orchestration solution, and Kubernetes was developed by Google, which has an important community and is widely use it. So let's start analyzing a vital benefit which is cost. Organizations aspire to reduce IT costs without compromising quality or agility, right? So Kubernetes usually is more expensive than Amazon ECS. One strong argument from Kubernetes is that it requires at least two servers and that will cost you a good amount of money from the hosting side. And not just that, if we go deeper into your organization with Kubernetes on-prem, the likely work efforts are 2x. That's because of its complexity in the configuration, deployment, and maintenance. Even with Kubernetes in the cloud, for example, Azure Kubernetes Service or Amazon Kubernetes Service, it will take you around 20% more time to manage it in full. Regarding Amazon ECS, which is a service that doesn't have a cost except for the cost associated with the instance that it's assigned to the service. Similarly, it can be as little as a small instance. Now, let's analyze multi-cloud. Well, this is obvious, and the one is Kubernetes. A compelling reason is that it can be deployed on-prem or any cloud provider, including Azure, Google Cloud, or Amazon. In the case of ECS, the platform is closed code. As a consequence, it has a vendor lock-in and is not cloud agnostic. So let's move now to easy to operate. Here, Amazon ECS is your best option. The ECS ecosystem is already pre-configured. Actually, it's an Amazon service which doesn't require a full setup. Additionally, it takes the most challenging part so you can focus on a few configurations. Alternatively, Kubernetes has an intense configuration process and it requires an appropriate amount of hours to make it work. Now, let's go to availability and scalability. Both platforms cover the features at the same level. Put clearly, Amazon ECS has a benefit inherently, since they can be deployed in different availability zones versus Kubernetes on-prem, which will take you a fair amount of time to replicate similar approach with multi-region and zones. And finally, the last piece that I want to touch on is deployments. With Amazon ECS, the native deployment system is rolling updates. As well, the other deployment strategies like Canary and Blue Green deployments, they can be incorporated in your CI-CD process, but with the help of Amazon CodeDeploy. On the other hand, Kubernetes per se doesn't have multiple deployment systems, such as rolling updates, canary deployments, etc. But except for blue green deployments that frankly, with Kubernetes works flawlessly. So technology leaders, to conclude, these are our key takeaways. If you like to reduce IT labor costs, maintenance and hosting costs, your best option is Amazon ECS. Like and comment below. See you later.